Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And we come through on that promise again tonight because we've got an exclusive world debut Ooh. of a game called Fall Pit. Fall? Oh, okay. Fall Pit the I... Maya Cave. Okay. Not Pitfall. Fall Pit. Fall Pit. <laughs> uh, this is by Cisano? C I S A N O. Cisano? Cisano? Cisano, maybe? Cisano? Let's do that. Um, Cisano? We, Cisano <laughs> as well. Uh, we also have Ladder Game by mm -hmm. Eric Zimmerman and Dead Planets by Coop Devil or Co op Devil. You read these things on the screen and you go, <laughs> could be pronounced five different ways. Yeah, so. True, true, true. We shall see. Um, and I think Cisano will be in the chat tonight, so we will see. Atari Cam, yes. Yeah. Um, somebody said to rename that. Oh, yes, I did rename it. Um, the Atari Cam. From Kitten Cam, because there's so many Ataris. Yes, in all the Ataris the in one space. Yes. Yeah. Um, By the make makers of Mario Supers. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? 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 Uh, Mario, Mario Supers, Supers, you know? No, don't get it. What was it? What? <laughs> What's the joke? Anyway. The reverse well, the reverse title. That's okay. all it is. Okay. Yes, Welcome yeah. to the show. <laughs> um we're playing some 2600 games tonight. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and get their names read every mm -hmm. show. Uh 8 bit Swami Alpha Arms Guard Coder Atari Big Dog Susie BR Pocock Buck Owens Chance Don Mayo Charles and Jack Charles Will and Chai 5 Dino Dan if you see Gyro 1970 Drexel Dr. Mook House Amy Dan Fox Mulder Great Defender Ground Trooper Roger Rapper Johnny WC Carl G. Croco Lauren TDZ Mark Johannes Mark Space Inc. Metal Atari 969 Mick Muse Mike Soul Michael Town Miss Command MK Smith Mr. Zarner Mr. Fixman uh, Nathan Strom Oh, no, Muddy Funster's not there. What? And I was reading, almost instinctively reading his name out. Muddy. <laughs> let me down. Um, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Op Vocal, Orn Deco, Packer, VG, Koag, Ardentuitz, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pims, Rodcaster, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spartans, Faceware, S. Ramirez, Toy Pig, The Detroit, Walsh, Mandy 9, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Trek MD, Victor M, X, Ken X, so many. So many names, <laughs> like a lot. Mm -hmm. We're getting closer when I'm going to stop saying them. <laughs> uh, if you want your name read you for now on the show, list. you can subscribe and it's free. If you have Amazon Prime, just link it. Like, oh, well, didn't subscribe, but B Boy Izilla is now following. Thank, Thank you. you for following and mm -hmm. adding your name to the 1,008 people who follow the show. Crazy. That's Insane. Um, yeah. Oh, I have a poll question, but I didn't type it in. So I am going to type that in while Tanya talks about... Well, what am I talking about? Our new mouse. Oh, I, I haven't even tried it out yet. Uh, no, I haven't plugged it in either. <laughs> I'm uh, talking about a mouse I haven't even looked at. Um, yeah, we have a new mouse. Ooh, ooh, fancy. It's got all the vents, all the little hex hexagonal vents in so the top. for your sweaty hands. For your sweaty hands. It also has a bunch of lights on it, but uh, we haven't been able to plug it in yet. So no, there's not really a lot to day. show. Yeah. Um, but we have been talking about getting a new PC to game on upstairs by our, by our TV. Yeah. So I... we have both the keyboard and and the mouse. Yep, but no computer. But no computer. <laughs> and, so... and they um, ordered a couple of days ago. Yes. And they and I hadn't heard from them. Then I messaged them yesterday evening and they phoned me today. Oh, they did. And okay. I did talk with them. Oh, well, that's today. Nice. Yeah. And they said, well, four things on your list are out, either out of stock. OK. Uh, we can't get it. Yeah. Or we're not going to get it for a long time. OK. So we have to make some decisions about swapping, about things? swapping, but mostly or about waiting. the video card. Oh. The other things don't matter. They can be swapped for very equivalent. The things. video cards are hard. It's a third. We ordered a 3080 and they're like, that's not coming. 3080 is like the most popular card uh, but yeah, because it's surprising. the best for your dollars. Yeah. So it's either a 3070 Ti, which is a downgrade, but is cheaper or a 3080 Ti, which is more expensive, but it's faster. It's a lot more expensive, uh, though, isn't it? It's like 400 more for the Ti, or like 400 less for the other 3070. Ti. 3070 Ti. Yeah. Are you going to go with the newly oh. announced, released, and 3090 Ti? Good Lord. You think we're made of money? <laughs> 
crazy prices in the 3090s. Is oh it? my god. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. ooh. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. It's only money. It oh. looks like a razor, but it's not. It's some uh, dragon. Dragon. D Red dragon. It's Red called. dragon. Thirty eighty Ti yeah. is Canadian. I don't know. Two thousand. Twenty. Was it twenty three? No, 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 no. Two no, thousand. No. Yeah. I only have a, a Ti ninety nine. <laughs> well, you can do some stuff on that. Uh, like the keyboard. Yes. yes, it is. We've got a matching mouse and keyboard. They were. Yeah. Highly recommended and not that expensive. When we get things kind of set up, we can do a little review of both of them and show them off. <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's not much to show off right it's now. It's a though. keyboard. Yeah. yeah. So here's the poll. <laughs> and I'm very sure I've not asked this before. Um, why? Oh, if I could type. Why? Oh, why are not more classic Atari 2600 fans into homebrew? Mm. Because you see on Facebook all the time, people in the 2600 uh, Facebook groups, mm. posting over and over and over about their favorite classic classic, ho classic games. games for the yeah. 2600. And I'm like, do you know that there's hundreds of amazing homebrew that are even ports of the old school games in the arcade? Mm. And they almost never discuss them. It's always Pitfall. It's always Hero. It's always, you know, all these Activision usually games. Um, and I'm like, are you crazy? There's so much out there. So I'm like, I'm trying to think why people aren't, there aren't more people into the homebrew because they have a system to play it on or an emulator or something. They're playing it on something, these old games, mm -hmm. right? Probably an old system they've had since they were a kid. Mm -hmm. So the only, I could only come up with three uh, reasons. Um, or that's another fourth one, a good one, McMuse. Nostalgia driven. They just, they just like the old games. They just, they don't even care about new games. They like what they like. It's the old ones. So yeah. that's the first I option. think that's a big part of it. I think it. it's a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, the cost of homebrew versus like a $5 in a bin classic game. Mm. Yes. Buying homebrew and buying on cartridge equivalent yeah most of the classic stuff is cheaper you can yeah. get them for five dollars even a dollar sometimes if you go to retro video game mm -hmm. and to buy a new one you know it's going to be 20 25 dollars minimum mm -hmm. on cartridge mm -hmm. box you, you cost more but you can download them for free a lot of them yeah full versions but I, or demo versions. but i guess the thing too is to download it means you need a little bit of knowledge about how to do that how to install the ROMs. play the emulator and and there's yep. probably a lot of people who just don't really know how to do that as no. well like it's it's kind of a bit of a technical barrier or don't have a multi-cart to play it on their old system yeah yeah, yeah. instead of playing it in, in emulation or on a raspberry pi or something yeah there's know. lots of ways there's to lots play of it ways. and yeah. probably people have people have phones or tablets or computers they everyone has one of those yeah so there are emulators for free exactly and, for those those devices and homebrew for free yeah. lots of homebrew developers yeah. give it for free mm -hmm. uh or number three they're unaware of that homebrew even exists. Yeah. yeah They're yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know, there's modern games on PS5 and Xbox and yeah. Switch and 2600 games are in the 80s and 70s and into the 90s a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's a factor it's, of a bunch of things. I, I think it's all of those things in what, different different ways. I see a lot of people saying three, which is that they're just yeah. unaware. And I think that's true. Like they're not, you know, they're they've moved on to their you know, playing 50 hours of, I don't know, Candy Crush or Wordle yeah. every day. And, and no, they're not I, thinking I, about... Well, I'm talking about people who actively no, play but, classic homebrew. But a oh, lot homebrew, of those people probably games. play Other modern games, games and they don't care on their about, phone. Or, you know, or you, know, you know, I think of a lot of people in our age range, and a lot of people do play video games. They might not even have modern consoles, but they yeah. play them on their phones. They play yeah. little games that, that you know, fill in the gaps of time and their yeah. day and things like that. Because Ivory busy, Tower so. Collection says, I think yeah. homebrews have a stigma that they aren't as good as the original classics, but that's only because people haven't played them. So yes. that would be uh, yes. three. They're unaware yeah. of how good they are. Yeah. Like they far surpass yeah. the original games. Yeah. Like so many of them yeah. are just destroy those original games yeah. those original games are fun don't get me wrong there's yeah. lots and lots of good ones yeah maybe they also love the uh atari back in the day but don't have a console now yeah mm -hmm. i i'm sing singling out the people who actively play them the, the classic but ones, they just who have some way to play those games and they might be playing 
you know, in emulation. They may not be yeah. playing on consoles, but yeah, you're right. I think some fans are casual about it and don't know anything about the homebrew scene at all, Carl mm-hmm. Drew. So he's like, they're just unaware. Which is why we make shows like this. Yeah, Ivor, exactly. <laughs> Ivor Tower Collection says cost is part of it. Al- Albert used to tell me he had a hard time selling some of his games because people at the show see homebrews for 20 on sale and don't realize they are new games and can't understand why they're more expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, But he, he has screens now. I don't know what back then, but... Um, he has lots of screens showing the homebrew, so, so it's, people can play it's them? totally on, on display on demo. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's plenty of homebrew uh, classic games that are $25 and mm-hmm. $20, like the really good ones. You can't get Hero for that cheap. Many mm-hmm. um, you're just happy with Flashback or something built in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm old and I like my games, my, plus homebrews, <laughs> as yeah, Ramirez like says. Like my old games, yeah. <laughs> uh, Miss Command and some three, that was actually for me until I started searching around and found Atari. Yeah. That was me too, like. I don't know, 10 years ago. It's like, yeah. oh my God, there's new games? Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. But I post in all of those Facebook groups about yeah. the show. It's like yeah. new homebrew, uh, new, yeah. brand new homebrew, new port. So let's I mean, see. yeah, yeah. Is the audio out of sync? I swear I did it like three times. <laughs> is is it out of sync for anyone else? Let me just make sure. Please, please no. Yeah, RC70. I think nostalgia because I'm not Should into NES homebrew, but I like playing the old games. It's true. I mean, there's there's games you go back to just because of nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's fine. Yeah. And yeah. I, I play old games too. Yeah. And I played in the, the mm-hmm. high score challenges and stuff like that. Yeah. Good. Good. It's all in, in sync. Okay. So let's see what people say. Uh, number three by a huge margin unaware people mm-hmm. they think people are just unaware that there's so much true. good homebrew and i think that's I think that's true because if they saw it and they knew it was a lot of them were free they'd yeah. be like okay i'm gonna play these new stuff well and and i mean your channel tends to be you know we're playing homebrew games but yeah. it's technical there's a lot of people who are more technical here who make the games and we yes. discuss the you know you discuss a lot the programming and how the games are made and a and, and and and, yeah. and but there's there's a fair amount of that yeah but i also wonder too like how many people out there who love, who have all this fondness for these old game systems yeah. would love to know there's a community of people out there developing that they yeah. they can contribute to in some way and play those games. There's, yeah. the, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people who would be very interested in that community, even if they're not developers or homebrew programmers. Just to talk with the people. And they don't know it exists, you yeah. know, they don't, they don't even know it's there, so. Um. Yeah. Um, speaking of buying gaming systems for the, the mouse that we bought, um, mm-hmm. I bought a Jaguar today. <gasps> what? 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 Yes. What? what? <laughs> Finally gave in because there yeah. was a very helpful Atari age, um, user mm. that was going to send one to me mm. and we looked into the shipping and it was like 55 us to ship it mm-hmm. here from, uh, from the U S to Canada. And we were talking and going, well, why not put that money into buying one? Yeah. Because that money's lost. And also I have to ship it back to him. Yeah. So that's like almost probably a hundred US dollars. Just for the shipping. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Put into nothing. It's like renting versus buying. Yeah. It's like, well, if you're going to buy anyway, which I planned on doing. (laughs) Rent to buy scheme? Are you paying him a little bit each month until you pay it off? I I asked him. He was not interested in selling it. It was his backup Jaguar. Yeah. But he's like, if mine fails, I want that one. Yeah. But he, so he, he said he would loan it to me indefinitely. Well, until I got nice. one. Yeah. But I just got one from an auction site. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> for um, <laughs> an average price. Okay. Not a great deal. Not a terrible price. Just came, in the middle. Yeah. It was Cybermorph, which is a is. crappy game. Yeah. Um, I think it's Cybermorph. Yeah. Cybermorph. Terrible. Terrible game. It's from what I've heard. It's a flying game. Very bland. Very boring. Mm. I've seen videos of it. Mm. Um, but I have a multi-cart, so I can play all the games. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jaguar is coming to ZPH soon because I have some homebrews up there Yay. and Atari Age Day 2022 is coming. Ooh. Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? <laughs> no, pretty much all I know is from um, Angry Video Game Nerds oh, really? <laughs> review of that game and it, it doesn't look very interesting. Um, so yeah, Jaguar is coming. Mm-hmm. All I need is the links now. I've completed my set mm-hmm. of Atari systems. The, 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 you've got the complete set of Atari. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. S. Ramirez says, I recently picked up a ColecoVision. The only other console I want is a Vectrix, but I've given up there too 
costly. They're ch cheaper than a Jaguar. <laughs> really? Yeah, I saw someone uh, selling one for three fifty on Facebook the other wow. day. Wow. And Jaguars are just a bit more, a hair more than that. Yeah. yeah Around, yeah. yeah. We are... I do have an RGB cable for it already. Mm. Um, so I'm all set for that. Yeah. And it came, comes with like one or two controllers, and I already have two controllers. Yeah. So I'm pretty you've got, set You've got up. quite a bit for it. Right? Yeah. And we have games for it, too, to yeah, play, right? Some yeah, some homebrew games. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, you'll yep. like the links. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So let's take a look at some news other than my own personal news. Uh, so Al posted some great pictures of some upcoming stuff that's coming out. One second. Uh, some posters that are coming with some of the new games. Ooh, oh, I love that Soul of the Beast, that so, style. So Soul of the Beast is coming with a poster, which is amazing because the yeah. artwork that they have included uh, with that game mm. is so good. The cover of the, the box, it's it's great that they're putting out a poster with it. It's usually eight and a half and eleven by eleven, so times two, so it's like sixteen by eleven. Mm -hmm. So they're they're good good size. Usually folded in half, so it's gonna be a crease in it. Uh, and there's the cartridge. Wow, look how look at that red color on it. So nice. There's a ladybug poster for champ games. Uh, updated ladybug. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice, just like the uh, cartridge cover. And here is the overlay for the 5200 game IntelliDiscs. Um, it's got up, up right, up left, left right, crouch block, down mm -hmm. left, down, down right. I'm guessing that's for firing and not moving mm. because you can fire and move separately, I believe. Mm. Uh, control mode, identify your body. Jaguars are worth some coin right now. Yes, I think my Jag plus CD and my Saturn collection are my highest wow. value collections. Yeah. Nice. The CD add-on for the Jaguar is insane. That, the cost of that oh, the cost? is crazy. I take it we don't have one kicking in the back somewhere. And there's no. No, no. <laughs> and there's no need because the cartridge, I believe, emulates CD games as well. Okay. So I don't necessarily need it. I, I'm more into homebrew anyway. Uh, there's a couple. Uh, there's a couple games, um, like Tempest, um, and what's Raiden? Yeah, those would be ones that I'm interested in right away. Yeah. Uh, Phaser Cat Games. Excellent guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm um, looking forward to Intellidisks. I really need to get my 5200 upgraded. It's mm -hmm. been sitting upstairs for months and months and months, but just other things pri take priority. I know. I know. We, we just keep moving it from room to room. <laughs> I know. I need to get it done. <laughs> oh my goodness. For uh, Atari Age Day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is pretty interesting. So uh, I don't know if everyone knows who made the game Pac-Man for the 2600, but it is this guy, Todd Fry. Okay. And he posted uh, a couple days ago. He said, hi folks, I've been mostly using a Chromebook recently and I'm curious to see if emulators and assemblers are available for an ARM-based Chromebook. Stella mm -hmm. coding in ARM Linux? This would be nice. This implies that Todd Fry is making a new Atari 2600 game. <laughs> <laughs> That's very exciting. And did you pounce on him? Like, are you making a game? No, no. no. Okay. Uh, I mean, Thomas Yance said uh, some people gave him some pointers. He didn't reply. Oh, okay. Or even give a thumbs up. So, uh, he might, have, might not have seen it. Yet. Let's That's see if fine. he's logged in. No, he hasn't logged in since he posted it. <laughs> some people speculated if it was the real Todd Fry uh, or not. Man. So we'll see. We'll see if it's the the real one. Uh, I think it is, though. Yeah. Yeah based on past posts yeah so that's that's very exciting uh another whole old school programmer making a new game mm -hmm. that is super super cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that well that, that'll be nice to see if that uh yeah. happens mm -hmm. or some develops with that uh i think that's all the news yeah and second place was nostalgia driven with 10 percent mm -hmm. third place cost of homebrew versus a five dollar classic game at five percent mm -hmm. and 15 percent other uh, i didn't see anybody post People other put, people put comments along the yeah. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite a few comments. Yeah. Yeah, neat. Okay, so maybe he'll show up at PRGE again. Oh Ooh. yes, that'd be cool. PRGE. 
Right. Then we can uh, harangue him about, uh, oh, what are you making? What, do you have an idea yeah. for it? <laughs> yeah. Do you have some ideas? What kind of, you're making uh, an updated Pac-Man? Uh, yeah. What other games did he make for the 2600? I'm, all, I'm pretty sure he made some other ones, but mm. I'm not off the top of my head aware of Not sure ones. of what he programmed. Yeah. If somebody can post it in the mm. chat. So the first game tonight is Fall Pit, the Maya Cave. Exclusive world premiere. This is by Chisano. Um, this build is actually from today. He gave me an update. Mm -hmm. um, some of the line counts are a little bit out. Oh, uh, Sword Quest games. Yeah, mm. maybe he'll make the fourth fourth one that was never released. Never released. They're not. They're okay games. They're they're like like almost platformers. Some of the ones are platformers. You're mostly dodging things mm. to get from the bottom to the top of the screen. Whether you're swimming or jumping or just avoiding things they're pretty samey samey they're mm -hmm. they're more of a, a puzzle game you have to look things up in the manual and figure out like oh, clues stuff and like stuff that. yeah yeah <laughs> i love those games they're back in the day okay not so big about big about the now but yeah back yeah in the the, day, those were fun time. oh, oh! There we go. I muted it. Are we doing treats versus catnip? No catnip. No catnip. Unless you want to get a plate. Oh, running out of treats. Uh oh, oh, running out of treats. We can always give him catnip. Maybe the next round. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. So I'll put that large. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, two, yes. Two dings. Two dings. Two treats. Does please. he get two treats? <laughs> Sword quests are a mini game collection with an adventure wrapped around them. Yes, they're they're mini games, very similar mini games, but. That's odd. I tried to redeem it a bit ago, and it said to check back later. Weird. Weird. Hmm. Hmm. That's a bit odd. It, it, is. it does have a countdown, but it should. But nobody had it should reset. It. Oh yeah. Unless dang, somebody dang. triggered it, no timer on it. Because I was thinking somebody triggered it before the show. Oh, maybe. If that's allowed. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe don't know. maybe it was an accidental trigger before before the show. Or yeah, something. but he said yeah. there's no timer on it. Oh. Ding ding! He doesn't even look at it. Did he look at it? Oh, he, he, was he like, doesn't need to. Ding, ding, yeah. ding, ding! He knows yeah. where it is. I have to make him run for it a little bit. I think. Um, so Chisano <laughs> uh, PM'd me on Atari Age about his new game on March twentieth. He said, as I wrote to you in some comments on YouTube, because he first wrote on on YouTube, mm -hmm. I was programming a game. Now my game for the Atari twenty six hundred, <laughs> ding, is complete. My first game, my first experience with assembly, eight mm -hmm. K ROM. Nobody knows about this game, the name, the gameplay. So this is like, he hasn't posted about this anywhere. He hasn't announced it anywhere. He just came straight to me and said, hey, do you want to mm. premiere it? And I'm like, I'll of take course. a look at it first. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just premiere anything. Fair. That's very true. Because it could be like, mm, this is okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe work on it a bit more. Yeah. Uh, but I thought this was very, very cool. Uh, very cool game. Oh, accidental ding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a butt ding. That's what it's we a call butt it. Ding. <laughs> so he says, hi, James, this is the game all made by me. Code, graphics, sounds, and sticker. Because he Ooh. made a little, you can see it on the screen right now. The game has 10 levels. To go to the next level, you, you need to get two gold bars. Every time you touch an animal, you lose energy. Every time you fall, you lose energy. Mm. Every time you touch a flame, it's difficult but possible, you lose energy. Uh, when the energy reaches zero, the game is over. Uh, fall put pit is looking for something and at the end of the game he'll find it mm. accidental hardly two dings for two treats yeah. that's right yes. that's how it works okay so let's get this booted up thank you Tari still a couple more in my hand Atari Oshlet ready that tail look at that tail you gonna there you oh. go okay nice. finish it up there's a little bit, and there, then there's one more. One more. Got to start the game. Ding it. Ding it. Ding that bell. <laughs> He's eating the every little... <laughs> little he little likes crumbs. food. And you're... All right. You are done. It's there. There you go. Good kitty. Okay, so... He's a good kitty. Let's load it up. Fry contributed to the Atari 8-bit version of Asteroids and Sword Quest. Oh, 8-bit. Fall cool. Pit. Fall Pit. That's the one. Nice. Fall Ooh. Pit, the Maya Cave. And there's like some guys with headdresses. Mayan, or... like Mayan sculptures or yeah. something? Yeah, by Chisano, 2022. Mm. 
exclusive world debut. Are you ready? <laughs> Ring that bell to be notified of new videos. That's what he's trying to do. So you've got your little guy and you've got a very Pitfall 2-esque uh, screen with the water. Mm -hmm. You've got the little rat. You've got some flickering fire. Oh. Ah. Um, and you've got some spiders going up and down. You've got ladders. So it's kind of a... Uh, yeah, it's it's very Pitfall 2-esque. He looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, slightly. Oof. So you have to collect two gold bars on each level. Would I fall? I would fall if I went you down You will there. lose energy. So you can see your energy at the bottom. You only get one life. It's one of those games, just like the uh, Space Pac-Man game, where it's just one life. So there's one gold bar. And you've got the rat. Is that a rat? Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of flashing. He's going from white to gray. Yeah. It's probably the flickering, uh, flickering light. Oh no no he has a. He's got a pattern. And the water is really good. So you can see it's done yeah. with uh, a repeating play field where it kind of goes up and down. And it's, it's like single line play field movement. Very, very nice. I'll give you a hint. Mm. The exit is... Uh, oh, we have to the, exit? Yeah, towards the right. Oh. Oh, you don't go back. No. It's always in the bottom right on every level. So there are levels. Okay. Yeah, 10 levels. It's not... So you have to uh... complete 10 levels. It's not just, a continuous. You just need two bars. Two and bars then, on each level. Then yeah. you get the heck out, right? One life, just like in real life. That's right. Mm -hmm. And unlike in real life, you don't heal in this game. There's no healing. You get... You have your heart and that's it. Yeah. I see. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Ooh. And it's got uh, music reminiscent of uh, Aztec Challenge when you finish that le when you finish at least that level. So the fire does hurt you a bit. So you want to jump not when the fire is there. David Crane said he originally designed Pitfall with only one life. Yeah, I remember that. And I guess people went, no, 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 no. This is too hard. You got to give them more life. <laughs> I think, oh, no, oh, no, the rat bit your ankle. Bit my bum. Ankle biter. Oh, oh straight up in there. Yeah, I know. Ooh. There you go. No, no. <laughs> so great colors. I really like the colors of the earth. And then everywhere you can walk, it's just a little bit of a brighter yellow platform. It's always at the bottom? Always at the bottom. So oh, you have look two... At these, so look at these fast rats. Yeah. Ooh, that's a rough one. Oh, oh almost. You had, the right, you had the right timing going down, but... Not the jumping. I think also said the whole game originated because he had a running man animation. Yes, I think that was the story. Thanks. And he was like, well, where is he running? He's running in a jungle. Well, what's in the jungle? Well, there's vines and water and creatures and yeah i remember him talking about giving his um rundown of how he created pitfall it's always an entertaining story it's listening to the guys uh who programmed all these games from back in the day and all the stories of how they developed the game and the uh, where the ideas come from and um the time constraints they're under it's like you got to deliver for the <laughs> christmas rush this has got to be a christmas one and, and it's always amaz amazing to me that it all happened within such a short period of time. Cat's going crazy upstairs. Mm -hmm. Like, like from 80 to 83 was like the huge heyday of the 2600, mm -hmm. right? And it was all contained within like three, four years. All these amazing games that came out and were developed and all the innovations with the games. I always try to go to David Crane's PRG panels. He's fun to yes. listen to. Um, I, I We went to one. The cat is going Cat's insane. Going crazy. Sorry. <laughs> He's full of beans. Crazy or, bean cat. Or full of... Uh, so what level are you on? At least Three? four. 
Three? Four? I don't Three. know. Ah! Yeah, don't rush into it. Was that whole story well drawn on a napkin? Yeah. No nip for Atari tonight. Well, maybe. Next maybe. one. Maybe. I'll have to get him a plate, though. Hi. Hi. Oh, he's so happy. So happy you got treats. Last show, you didn't get treats for an hour. <gasps> Remember? Really? He was so upset. You were here. You were... Ah, no! Ah, uh, go up or down. Ah! Oh, no! So much life lost. Uh. You signed my Pitfall Complete Box of PRG 2019. That's awesome. Oh, come on. Well, was there a ladder back there? I think there There's was. There's usually two ladders. Yeah, I think there... I might... It might not work. Nope. Oh, no. Damn it. I knew it. I knew I'd have to go back. I also enjoyed the Activision Atari panels when I was at CGE. Yeah, I try and go to at least one time for each person because they, they tend to tell the same stories because people want to hear those stories. So once you've gone once Get or twice, <laughs> then uh, you're usually okay to... This is the worst. Those fast-moving rats in the ladder? Oh. Yeah, they're positioned pretty... Come here. Come over here. She's playing. I know. He's, he's trouble. He's a trouble cat. Hi. Oh, hugs. Hugs. Hi. Oh, no. 33 left. Oh, you ran right through the rat. Uh, oh, two left. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was terrible. One tiny touch and it's over. Oh, oh. death. But uh, Frozen in time. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now the cat's on me. Can you take the kitty? Yeah. Kitty, come here. Come here. I haven't heard of any Easter eggs in... Um... Oh, <laughs> What is he? Look at that expectant face. I know. I don't know what he wants, but he wants something. You've had your treats? Yeah. See how long I can keep the 240. <laughs> Good luck to me. If he is going crazy enough as it is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Gets the wind up his bum sometimes and just starts running around the house. <laughs> nope, there it is. Kitty. Whoa. Ooh, you almost ran right into it. <laughs> I did. Good variety of uh, creatures. I like I like the levels too. And the stairs going up and out. I yeah. swear I've seen that. You're going that done before. Down down the ruins. I'm assuming. Yeah, like down, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper into the ruins. Yeah, I think so. Hi. You like that? Don't you? Oh. Oh, oh I, What are you doing, you silly got cat? Got hit. I jump straight up instead of over. Oh, was there one over there on the bottom? Yeah. This cat. Per cat. He's full of purrs. Yeah, just two treasures on each level. Why, why 240 and not 255 or 200 or 100? Mm -hmm. Well, he asked me if um, 240 was too generous, and I'm like, eh, not for me. <laughs> I think I need 240. Well, I mean, how many levels? Or is, is There are 10. Okay. I mean, ah, ah, those ah. guys, those guys are the worst. Oh my God. <laughs> See, I wasted 40. The rats that already. run back and fa forth really fast. Yep. Hey, hey, Atari. Can you, go, can you go get some of those rats for us? Go chew them. Go bite them. Yeah, Scare them away. I need a, a, a bonus Atari cat to come in and chew <gasps> up the rats. Oof. Yeah. Got hit a bit. I heard that meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He is so silly today. Down. Oof. These ones are not bad. They don't actually go to the ladder. Maybe he needs to have you get some life, like 10 or something for each treasure you pick up. Oh, it would be nice to get a little bit just maybe to keep going. That's a good way but, of doing it. Keep it low. Yeah. And then a little it, bit maybe. every treasure. Just it's almost like a little bonus, you know, once you get or or maybe a little a little bit back when you go up the stairs, that would be wouldn't be so bad either when yeah. you get to the end of the level. Yeah, you could yeah. award it and keep it low for each level. So that way, if you make it further, then you're rewarded. 
Bumfuzzle Games, that uh, is a 6507 shirt. Yes. Yeah. That is the modification of the 6502 that's in mm. the 2600. Gotcha. So it's a super, super geeky shirt. <laughs> super geeky. So this is, I think, I don't know if the 6507 was ever used in anything else, but the 2600. Ah! <laughs> that is a very specific shirt, yes. <laughs> it is. Very specific. It's like, if you know, you know. That kind yeah. of shirt. It might also be interesting to reward you with health, especially more health for completing the level faster. Yeah, it, oh. I mean, there's no time on this, though. There doesn't appear to be any time. It's no, just for health. It yeah. could be kind of timed. Cart size of this one. Makes Eight. Eight. 8K. Yeah. Which is which is pretty good. There's um, a lot of creatures in it. Mm. A little bit of level data, because there's a, quite a good variety of um, of different... What can I do here? Let's go down and to the left. There we go. Oh, hmm. Miskman asks, any programmers yeah. know why levels in early games were 2 minutes and 16 seconds? What? I'm sure it has got to be something pro some pro processor thing. Levels were? Yeah, like they timed... They took... Was that the time that they... Where does it say that? That's miscommand is asking. Uh, we're two minutes and 16 mm. seconds. Well, 60 plus 60 is 120, no. 136. Mm, that doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to think of a, <laughs> prop, like a number yeah, translation. To that computer. 2000 like. hertz, someone would say. <laughs> Victoco. Oh, this... it might translate to um, the clock speed. The clock speed, yeah. Of the processor. Wow. Oh. Yeah, combat, air speed, air sea battle, starship. Hmm. Yeah, it might just coincide with uh, the, um, the 2600's timer. Um. It depends on the counters. I know the C64 counts in jiffies. Jiffies. So your timers so would be funny. counted in jiffies, whatever I, those work out to be. I haven't heard jiffies in a long time. Bum puzzle games. I think jiffy is one sixtieth of a second. Mm. Uh, be there in a jiffy. So stupid. Mm. <laughs> Somebody was being funny. <laughs> ah! <laughs> run! Actually, yeah, you run the speed of those... Uh, Oh, ow. Yeah. ow! On NTSC machines. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Hi, Metal Lunar 7. He just. Uh, hey, Metal Lunar 7. In. 164. I don't know what level I'm on. I uh, have, have not been counting. Uh, this looks uh, like one uh, fourth or fifth uh, level, maybe? Oh, kittens. Ah! Okay. Ow! Oh, damn it. Ow! Okay, so I've got both gold bars. I think I should probably go down here. Yeah, one NTSC frame is one sixtieth of a second. Yeah, I, I, it's probably due to time a timer. Uh, I think I'm gonna go down. It's probably gonna be up anyway. There we go. Run! Yep, there it is. Hopefully there's another ladder to the right. Yeah, good. Ow! Damn it! Below 100 now. Sorry. It's okay. Just Cat okay. in distress. He is, yeah. He's going to the vet tomorrow, so... Yeah, he's going to love it. Ugh. I have to bring the cat cage out again. Oh, yeah, that's right. So uh, he's not going to like that. Oh, no. Oh, picked right. Let's they try know. and go to the right here. They know. Ooh, snaky. I don't think I'll go down the other ladder. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Amazing technology here. James apparently can feel the pain of his character getting injured. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, I can. My, my dwindling amount of health. And I don't know what level I'm on. Anybody Those rats been suck. Track? Yeah, they're really fast. You have to, like, they're, they're not the easiest to dodge. Snakies! Oh, those are so cute! They are. Oh, don't go too far. There you go. Ah! ah! Damn it! Smacked in the head by a Did I spider. Was there a gold bar? No, not yet. No. Uh... Can you get pat? Can you jump over that? No, you'd probably e fall down. I'm gonna say no. Oh, but then you have to deal with... You can fall oh, down. Do you fun. get injured when you fall down? Yeah, you lose Oh, health. no! Well, that's why I did so Like badly. 20 health. Ow! <laughs> I bum fuzzle games. I used to say ow a lot when I played in the arcades. Getting ow. hurt actually hurt because I had a dollar for allowance and was wasting a quarter. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. Oh, chose right. It's up above. What? Where's the second one? Where did I... Did I miss it? <laughs> what the hell? Did I... Was it like right away or something? Uh, maybe. Oh, my God. <gasps> no. Well... There is one on the bottom near the beginning, oh, Ivory Tower okay. Collections. Yeah, I thought I saw one at the beginning. Yeah. Raddies. Raddies, glowing rats. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, he's fast. <laughs> there it is. And the uh, levels know. are the same every time. So, are they? Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. 80. Oh, I don't know about this. Oof. Jumpy, jumpy jump jumps. Oh, 79 now. 79? Did you touch my toe something? on it or something? There huh. you go. Are you able to crouch? I don't believe so. No, there's no, no crouching. Just, uh... Yeah. I mean, that could be useful for the bats flying, but not really. Because then you can't move usually when you crouch. Yeah. Oh, I noticed boy. Mad Mike, who I haven't seen chat, was, um... Oh! I always Hello, love names I haven't seen before. Mad Mike, love your channel. I'm so very happy of the amazing work that you all do. I love this year's Zero, Zero Homebrew Awards. There oh, we go. thank you yeah, for watching thanks. and enjoying. Glad nice to, to see. Oh, glad, nice to see oh, new God. names in the chat too. So, uh, <laughs> are you okay? Oh no! I'm gonna have to go. Can back. you go back? No. Yeah. Oh, you can always go back. There's no one ways on this. Oh. But it's just it was a lot of stuff. Ah. Nice. Uh, because you don't know where they're going to be, right? Until you get there. Bone puzzle game. So the webcam audio must be lagged a bit. I can hear the controller. It makes it sound like there's a massive lag. Uh, they're, they're, yeah. It's not... Our voices are lagged to the, the gameplay, right? It's a little bit off. Yeah. I, I keep remembering to do that, but then I run out of time because I do it on the day. And I'm like, oh, why did I do it again? <laughs> I always forget to, to sync it up. So it's, you see it a little late, is that the idea? Or you see it a little early? Well, watch this. It's di it's different. Like this moving the joystick to to the game. Oh, I see. On their end. Yeah. It's a little off. So what they're hearing, like when I press the button, yeah, it's going to be a different timing. Yeah. Ivory Tower Collections. So the video is basically one second behind the audio. So not too far off. Yeah, so... Yeah. Like I our could, voice. I, yeah. I could go, oh, and they'll, then they'll see why I'm going, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting to sync it up. It's very easy to do. I just need to do it. <laughs> you have to do it before the stream starts, or? I have to just do it. Okay. I just haven't. Because <laughs> when you change so things around. Other things uh, get thrown out of things whack, Things get too. thrown out of whack. Yeah. So whatever the last time I did it was a long time ago. Yeah. I've gotten used to it by now. <laughs> you know, people just don't mention it. Foreshadowing, yeah. So now that people are seeing it, I'm like, oh, I better do it. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's super simple. There's no enemies. Huh? This is the last level for sure. Is it? Is for it? sure it's the last level. Because there's no enemies. Oh, you can fall down, can't you? Uh, I could. No, but, but you I, might die. I yeah. want to I want to win with 78. I think I'm going back. <laughs> no enemies. Rod Castler, it's fine. My old brain makes it up makes makes it up for any lag in audio or video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap, Ivory Tower Collection it, says. It probably oh, is. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 
There's when there's be a no enemies, ginormous spider on the screen. Yeah, boss. You, boss. That's what usually happens when. Oh, it's too easy right now. Yeah. Oh, here's a bunch of healing potions. You're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> Floor is lava. Yeah. Oh, it could be. It could open up. Uh, <gasps> oh wow! Is that's that just the end? Nice. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I'm scared though. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Maybe I have to go touch it up above. I know. Should I go touch it? No. no. I should go touch it. <laughs> you might die. Uh, yeah, I probably would. It'll probably. See what I want to see what happens. Da, 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 da. No, I'm, I'm gonna end the game. <laughs> Do a little pitfall dance. <gasps> oh, bravo! You found Pacal. Oh, oh there you go. Nice. That's why it's AK. Because of all the uh, graphics. Wow, Look at that's. That. Really nice. Really detailed. How nice is that? Yay, good music. <laughs> toy, 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 the giant, giant mine godhead. God nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah. The cow patch. <laughs> At 78, uh, I probably have to do it above 200 for the patch, I would say. Hmm. Or at least 150 or, or 175. Or, or it's possible no deaths. That would be a good patch. What? You mean 240? Yeah. Completely yep. not. not it's, it's doable. It, I think it's doable. Yeah. I think I don't think it'd be easy, but I think it's suitable. doable. Doable. That, that legit looks like some stuff I've seen in SA, South America. Huh? Mm. Yep. Very nice. Oh, and the game is done. Yeah. Wonder if it That's really cool. I, I It oh, it felt, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. A really well done game. The yeah. graphics were really nice. Very the nice. The creatures. Um, I, I, now that I've completed it, probably take down the 240 to at least 200. Yeah, 200. Yeah. 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 Um, because <laughs> that was like my first real go at it. I played it on an emulator before, so mm -hmm. I would say it probably needs to come down a little bit. I'm sure, as always mentioned, where we can buy the game and or ROM. This is the exclusive world debut, so... Nice. I don't know yet. Yeah, he didn't it's say. It's not quite there yet, I guess. But, but I, I'm yeah. pretty sure he will post it um, in the forums. Nice. Nice. Um, soon. I guess he didn't make it to the chat, or he's not chatting. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty much done. He was... Like, there's no bugs. He had some line count issues, but he fixed that with this one that he sent to me today. So I think he just needs to set down the number to, what do you think? Because I, I almost, made it with 78. Yeah, I almost... And I'm not a terrible player, but I'm not an expert player. I also think if you were injured more, mm -hmm. like you could either bring the number down or have more injury. I mean, that changes the dynamics of... A little bit. The game of, of getting more health with yeah. gold or getting health with level. I think 200 level. would be reasonable yeah. as a starting yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it, I didn't... I made it pretty far in on my first try, so... Yeah. It wasn't or too Or maybe hard. 150 would make it challenging. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to recommend that he, he ramps it down ramps a bit. It down the, a bit. the health yeah. to make it a little bit. I think a couple of difficult. runs, you'll, you'll, yeah. But you'll get really, really fun game. Very fun. So hopefully he'll be posting it in the forums soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe have different, different difficulty uh, settings. Yeah. Or, or if you fall, then you, you, you die. die. Yeah. Yes. So he could like, do that. Like no, no falling. Kind but of it thing. depends how much more he yeah. wants, how much more time he wants to put into it. Because some of these suggestions are like, oh, I have to rework oh, yeah, that's true. lives that's true. or yeah. yep, yep. Um, falling cool. to die, probably easy. Because yeah. he, he can tell when you fall. That could be just the difficulty setting too. Yeah. It, fall to die, fall a, not to die. And, and that B. would actually make it a lot harder. It, it would. Yeah. yeah. Um, so great game, mm -hmm. a lot of good things going on there. Great music, great graphics, um, good gameplay. Um, mm -hmm. it's really, really fun. Cute little sprites in there, yeah. like the, the snakes, especially. I really like the snakes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So next game is called a ladder game. Ooh, ladder Ready. game. This sounds puzzly. Uh, no, no, oh, okay. it's action. Okay. It's an action game. Not puzzly at all. No puzzle to it. Mm. So this is by Eric Zimmerman. Got loaded up. Uh, first posted March 13th, 2022. This is an 8K game as well. Um, this is his first game as well. Um, you can download this one in the Atari Age forums mm -hmm. if you'd like to download it. It does start right away, but that's okay. So you're the little green guy at the bottom. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, you can move left or right when you're on the bottom. Oh, on the bottom. 
And you can move your ladder to the window. What am I doing? Now to get your ladder up to the person, you move it over to them, press the button, and am press I up. Am catching them? No. So, listen to my instructions. When you're at the bottom, press the button. Mm -hmm. go, go to the bottom. <laughs> press the button and then push up. And you can extend your ladder. And it's the and then you have to climb up the ladder to rescue them. Oh, I have to rescue them then. Yeah. There you go. And then you retract your ladder by pressing the button and down again. Oh, okay. So, he says, this game is my day project for Atari 2600. So I think he made this in one day. What? Oh, you have, oh, to, you retract have to retract your ladder. It. There we go. And then move over and then go up. And I think you caught him while you're, he was falling, I think so I did. it started over. Uh, fire and joystick up makes the ladder bigger. Fire and joystick down makes it smaller. Joystick left, player left. Joystick right, player right. Joystick up, player runs up the ladder. Joystick down, player runs down the ladder. Oh wow, definitely don't view this stream in 480p. Apparently there is no 480p 60 option. <laughs> yeah, you do need 60 frames a second because the 2600 takes advantage of flicker. So you would be missing out on the one and the five, like the countdown numbers. And even when the guy is on the same line as the numbers, he flickers alongside those, those two numbers as well. You cannot move it while extended, and that's the challenge of yeah, this game. Yeah, you have to move it up and down. So you have to retract your ladder, because it's way too large to move, <laughs> and then go up and, and get the guy. Yeah, so you always want 60 frames a second, no matter what, what you're watching. Um, Are there different difficulty settings? Because I'm only on one side. No. So there's After no while, second does... side? After a while, it does go to the second side. I've played it for a bit. Um, can you overextend past the person? No. So if you just hold down the button and crank it, it'll just... It'll go right up to the person. You don't have to press it multiple times, I don't think. You can just press up or down. So it's automatic extension, automatic retraction. So really, you don't need to think about when to stop. You just see when it stops, and then... Yeah. And uh, after you get... Now, the countdown timer wasn't explained, but I believe if it goes below 10, you get bonus time. If it's above 10, it continues to count down. Something like that. So you got one on the right-hand side, right? Mm. Yeah, it's starting it's to go first there. first time. It's in a pattern, though. I mean, it just goes up and down. Ah. No, my Harmony Cart menu is perfect on my side. It's the capture. It is not getting absolutely every single frame. Oh, I see. On the Harmony Cart menu. So I don't know what's going on. Why? It's because... The 2600 outputs exactly 60 frames a second. And a lot of capture devices are like, I don't care if I miss one or it doubles once. But on a exactly flippy flippy 20, 60 frames a second, you notice when a frame is missing or it's doubled. My computer is not the issue, as far as I can tell, because the amount of processor power while we're doing this is, I'll tell you right now, my CPU is at 18% usage, so it's not my CPU. And my GPU is at like 35%, so it's not my GPU either doing the encoding. So my computer's not busy, so it's definitely the hardware encoding capture card, yeah. capture card they're really expensive to buy so it's not like oh, i'll just get another one they're like hundreds of dollars for really good ones and these are supposed to be really good capture cards and they're they're quite decent but they just don't do the 60 frames a second 
Yeah, um, OBS is able to use GPU for um, uh, video encoding, which mm. is great because that's so much better, so much more power in a GPU in a for GPU, yeah. than in a CPU. The stream is secretly mining Bitcoin. Yeah, you found the answer. Yeah. that's why it's missing some of the frames. Yeah. 2600s mining Bitcoin. I have made that suggestion in the past. <laughs> Everyone the, the should just join itself? up their 2600s and, and, and like we need a cute name for use, it, maybe? Use the plus cart to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, the plus cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ironically... Not that uh, Atari, anything's worth very much anymore, but that's okay. No, all crashed. Uh, um, Atari did have their own Bitcoin. Oh, did they? <laughs> I don't know what happened with it. Nobody cares about that. No, no, it's just... Um, but, you know, the Plus Cart could use its uh, ARM processor Yeah. to start slowly, ever so slowly making some sort of it would uh, be, Bitcoin. It would be very Atari valuable. token, that's what it was. Atari so. token, there you go. It would be very valuable because there wouldn't be much of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ivory Tower Collects, I use a very cheap i5 with 8 gigs of RAM for my stream, but no GPU, so it has to use its own built-in Intel 400 series graphics. Um, well, 25% of CPU is not bad at all, so you're fine without a GPU. There is a Bitcoin miner for ColecoVision, or is that the Shut Intellivision? Up, really? Yes, there was. Oh, that's so I think so it was Coleco. Funny. I love it. It mined it so slowly. I it, love it. It just would never get one. Like, it just... Not even a chance. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, 25% is a lot if you're trying to play a game on top of that. Yeah. If you're playing, like, a, a new game, that can be quite a bit. But if you're just emulating 2600 games or something, um, or every tower collections, yeah, he just... He streams consoles through his system, mm -hmm. so that's all it's doing. So you haven't died. Yeah. It's not a particularly hard game. <laughs> no. It's it's a very repetitive game. I kind of wish that it wasn't in a pattern. I kind of wish it was just all random. Is it but... a pattern? Oh, yes, it's a pattern. It goes oh, from no. left to right the whole time. Oh, no. Did you not notice that when you played it? Oh, no, it because it It just goes it was... left to right, and then it starts over, and then it starts on one side, and so then you go through... Oh, no. Three windows, and then four <laughs> windows, and then, you know, like oh, it goes I across. See. It's That's a, just a it complete goes one, pattern. Then two, and then three. Yeah, and you then... know exactly where it's going next. Like Oh, so it's doing it in binary, right? It's doing backwards binary. Sure. It's one, and then two, and it's counting up, Ugh. kind of. Although you do stupid things like that, so there you go. This needs a crossover with Rampage. So, yeah, it needs things flying across the screen. To dodge to or... To dodge them. Or, or, things, or things in the bottom of the screen. You have to get up the ladder to get random over them. Random would be nice. Or some fake random. random fake random, even. like Because it just, it just is so repetitive. Or things falling down, like in, in Crackpots, where there's like... Yes. Uh, people throwing things out of windows. I think it would make more sense to throw things horizontally. I don't know if that's even possible, but oh, yeah, yeah. like birds, birds having to dodge it's usually birds, birds or something. Yeah. Birds that fly by. Um, 2600 has a... does not have a random number generator. Usually it's a counter and you get user input um, to start that counter because user input is random if things are fast enough. So you get them to start the game with like the button and that's the start of the randomness and then use an, uses an LFSR, I believe. So it runs through a series of numbers, but they're so fast that it might as well be random, that kind of thing. So that's, that's the random that a 2600 has. It does not have an, a built-in uh, random number generator per se. Okay, we're done with <gasps> Wait, this game. Wait, no! It's random now. Is it? Uh, oh no! It looked random for a second. Oh no! <laughs> I I think it's it's looping Reset? back. Oh. No, it's looping back. So see, I'm going to the end. Yeah. And now it's it's putting one on the other side. It's putting one oh. here. So it's like seven on level two, and now we're back to oh, level three. Yes. Okay. So it, it's adding numbers again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think we're done with this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's neat, though. I, I do like the mechanic of it. I just, I kind of wish it was more, like... More to it. More challenging and not so much a pattern. 
It's very cool, though. Yeah, I think it's a good start to a game, and they can add things going left, right, falling. Yeah. You have to avoid things on the ground. Like e- you have to even jump over them or something. Even just making it random, so you're not going. You know, you, you don't know where you're going next. I think would make it a lot more challenging. Yeah. And then the way it seems to work is you do a row, and then the timer restarts. But it could be you do six, and then the timer restarts, and it be random. I think that would be challenging. Or yeah. you do. Three and then the timer restarts and then four and then five and then six. Like, yeah, there's lots of stuff you could do with it. It's cool, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good it's very start. Cool. And I think the guy was trying to do it in a day. It was oh, like really? a day challenge. Oh, like that's very making cool. Making a game in a day. Yeah, yeah. Which he did. Oh, it's a game. It, Yeah, no, no, it's it's good. But yeah, like yeah. last episode, I said I was going to throw in a bunch of small games because mm. there's a bunch of small ones that I wanted to show off because there's, there's some nice mechanics mm-hmm. in that game. There's a nice mechanic of the ladder extending. I really like that. I like that too, actually. Uh, just needs more. More more to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so load up the next game, please. Right, what am I loading up? You are loading up Dead Planets. Ooh. Um, I was going to get some paper for this, actually. Paper? Because it's kind of a maze. Oh. But not... I mean, it is a maze. What can I write on? Mm, 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 mm. You need something to write on, but I never have it. So, um, I'll just write over here. I'll write on this. Um, So this is Dead Planets by Coop Devil, Co-op Devil. uh, First posted March 15th. Uh, This is a 4K game. Uh, You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, He also made a game called Einvader as well. I don't think we played that. So this is uh, the synopsis of it. Is This is Dead Planets, a minimalist 288 screen arcade adventure that fits in 4K. It's my second Batari basic program. Dead Planets is my sort of homage to the multi-screen flip screen ZX Spectrum arcade adventures of my youth. Games like Jet Set Willy, Saber Wolf, Wizard's Lair, Starquake, Wiz- uh, Robin of the Wood, Fire Lord, Attic Attack, Of Ofwiter- Wiedershin, Monty, a Vieters, a Vieters Is that Vieters-Zane? how you spell it? I don't think so. <laughs> a Vieters Zane Monty. Uh, that's why I mispronounced it. Uh, mixed in with the Time Attack 2600 games like Barnstorming and the Empty Quiet Feel of Metroid. It's also an homage to the lost art of mapping out these sort of games on graph paper that we had to do in the late 1980s, and you'll probably have to revisit that skill to get anywhere. Rest assured, this is a deliberate feature, not a bug. Mm-hmm. Uh, you play Dewey, Dead World's Investigation Probe, searching for the lost Tiptonite crystals of wisdom hidden the, in the caverns of six dead worlds of the Clap ZX82 civilization. So start it up. You can move around. You're looking... So you can choose which one you want to play in. So we'll start with one. That's your little Dewey dude. And you can look left and right. <laughs> Uh, uh, press up and down to pick one of the six worlds to explore and press the fire button to start. Find the three crystals in each world, Ooh. return to the start room, and hit the exit warp to finish the game. Oh, he's, he's got some slide going. He's got some momentum. Yeah, he does. It's a little slippery. He is slippery. Um, do it as fast as you can. The only score is your time. Try to Crap. set personal best in this time oh, attack, God. just like brainstorming. Gotcha. Old school game mapping on graph paper will help you. Walls kill you. Yeah, thanks. Worlds are 8 by 6 screens with wraparound on all four edges. So 288 screens in 4K with space left over. Um, control has some cheap momentum. What uh, am I getting? That. <laughs> Sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> but that's one. So you get, have to get three. And then return to where you started. Oh, Jesus. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's why you have to graph it out. Space cheese. Yeah, it could be space cheese. It is very cute. I like the main character. Yeah, I do too. And I like he looks left and right. Just like, um... What was that other game where, where the person was looking left and right before you start the game? Oh, it was Space Pac-Man. These could look left and right while you were falling or... Yeah, it was very, very cool. Um, there are six color-coded worlds selectable by moving joystick up and down the start screen. Fire to start and restart after a game over. World 1 is Abyssium. World 2 is Brimstone. Then Lil- Lil- Lilacium. <laughs> then Doonball. Rain God. And Chromium. So that's two? number 2. Yeah. How or many did you, you die? Need? Two? No. Did you die? Between? No. Okay. 
<laughs> no. No. You need three. How dare you imply I died. In mazes like this, I like to follow the left or right wall. True. I know. It does wrap around. Ah! Oh. Ah, that was close. There are loops, so you're... Th- ah! So that's not going to work. Okay. Uh, I wasn't mapping it out anyway. I think I have to print some graph paper. It'll make it a lot easier. Well, I feel like you should be able to memorize it. What's this? the grid size? Eight by six. It's not that big. Oh, it's not that big. But it wraps around, which makes yeah. it a little like, where am I? So I already know where the other one okay, is. Okay. So I, if I, you go back up. I'm not going. B- oh, you do? Yeah. Since we have to map it anyway. So go to the right. Nope. So that's your starting position. Yeah, it is. So go right, and then up, and there it is. I only know the two. (laughs) Uh, The other one was to the left, I think. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I found one to the left. I believe this should get me back. Nope. nope. Go around, and then back over a couple, and then you're back at starting position here. starting position. Oh, there we go. Nice. So let's go back. That, and then down. And then down. And then right. And, uh, no, not yet. Two? Yeah. Two? Then I think it's that one. I think. Oh, there we go. Level one with a 72. Nice. It's maze that I like. Uh, uh, it looks like Mark Mothersborough. <laughs> Maybe both. Okay. Uh, hand in wall method to solve a maze. Hand in a wall. Mm. We could try that. But I think it does wrap around. So, mm. level two. Mm. Sure. Mm. I hate maces. But... From Devo. <laughs> Mark oh. Mothersborough. Okay. Oh, with the hat. Yeah. Okay. He does have the, ha- does have the cone hat. Oh, we're, dead. Two. We're, we're seeing Devo. We are seeing Devo. Yep. Yeah. We Soon. In LA. Are, 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 are we talking about the, the, the show we're seeing? I guess so. Too late now. <laughs> Too late now. Well, you mentioned Giving it, it away. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. No, not level one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go see Devo and Blondie and a whole bunch of other uh, amazing 80s, 70s yes. bands in LA. Yes. In a little while. Oh my, oh my god. Goodness. You need to calm down. <laughs> calm down. You're just like boom right into the walls. Well, most of these are dead ends. <laughs> so. Yes, there is a music festival. What is it? Cruel World. Cruel World Fest. That's been put off for two years. Yes, we bought tickets two years ago. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. I think it wrapped around. Yeah, it did. But the band, the list of people it's pretty impressive is yeah unbelievable they actually I added i couldn't not go they actually added to a second <laughs> concert second ex- day. so it was supposed to be on a saturday and then they added the same lineup on sunday because so many yeah. people wanted tickets yeah uh the headliner is morrissey so good luck to that yeah <laughs> uh literally he plays one third of his concerts people have added it up yeah. there's a there's a website that keeps track of Morrissey concerts. Yeah. And he cancels. He cancels two thirds of two, them. It's either he wow. plays two thirds or cancels two thirds. Wow. I think he I think he plays two thirds. Anyway, it's a terrible track record. Mm-hmm. Oh, but boy. Blondie is what I'm yeah. excited about. And Devo's playing too. Yeah. And and um oh, what's that other band I really like? Um I don't know. I don't know. I've only found one. Oh, there we go. The band that plays Blister in the Sun. Oh. Um, they're playing as well. Are they? Why is why? Can't ah, I, I can remember no. the song names, but not the band name. That's what oh that's, my god. So normal for me. Um. I saw Weird Al in Vancouver. Violent Femmes. Thank you. I did believe we Violent see Weird Femmes. Al. We did see Weird Al. Did we? Didn't we? We have. We did. Yeah, we did see Weird Al. We've seen Weird Al once, I think. Once. Yeah. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. Weird Al is just great. He's just great. He is. Maybe we were at the same concert. Yeah. 
It was about six or seven years ago. Oh, Weird Al with the Monkees was my first concert. RC wow. Seven. Nice. That's impressive. That's a good <laughs> The Monkees, too. Uh, was the Weird Al one you saw where he was with the orchestra? Because that's what oh, yeah, we, we saw. Yeah, we saw one with an orchestra. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Must, it must It was excellent. It was really good. Really good. Yeah. I feel like this just wraps around. Nope. Yeah, I haven't been tracking, so yeah, that's a dead end for sure. <laughs> Nobody's said who does blister in the sun. No, Violent Femmes. Oh, violent okay, Femmes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just the, the name just. So I've got two. Yeah. Good luck to finding the. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Unless you count Sesame Street Live. <laughs> Uh, it's not really okay. a band. No. Mad Mike 25 saw Weird Al in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Was amazing. Loved Amish in Paradise. Yes, I believe he played the music video. Did he? Behind him. Yes, he did. Because it showed, like, the, the choir from the music video. Yes, and yes. That, that worked really well. I remember well. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Number three. Okay. He had a whole orchestra, though, didn't he? Yep. It was very good. Yeah. The music was very good, and the and like the orchestra was, was just perfect. awesome. He was it was perfect. awesome. Yeah, he's such a good musician. He is. Yeah. Um, Isn't there a Weird Al movie on the way? Is there? That oh, would be cool. Yes, somebody's playing Weird Al. Playing like, Weird Al, like in like, a biopic or something. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I can't okay, I would who totally it is, watch but it's that. Like, yeah, it was somebody pretty appropriate. I can't remember who it was. Yeah. Caesar Cat Games says, I don't remember much about the show, but I do remember lots of fun video during costume changes. Yes. yes. Yeah, there was a lot of good videos. A lot of videos. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm close to the yeah. beginning again. Ivory Tower Collections. I saw the B-52s back in 2007. Might Not have been fan. the last concert I've seen. <laughs> they probably have the song I hate the most in the world, which is... Rock Lobster! Oh, God! Love Shack. Love Shack, <laughs> baby! <laughs> I cannot oh my stand that. God, <laughs> it's one of my least favorite bands in the world. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't say they're the least favorite. I just Aerosmith hate... and B-52s. <laughs> I just hate that song. It oh. just was so overplayed. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Ivory Tower Collections. <laughs> if you like them. <laughs> I like them. Sorry. Daniel that's Radcliffe okay. is playing as Weird Al. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. yeah, I can see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You play one more. Yeah. No, no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. It's everybody one likes, song, everybody one likes song different that bands. Just, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. It's just the singer's <gasps> voice. Oh, oh my that's God. That's going to be good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, three? Yep. Um, I haven't been able to see a major musician in a long time, probably since Weird Al. Concerts got incredibly expensive. They have gone up a in lot. price a lot. I mean, and, I mean, because musicians aren't making money from album sales anymore. So no, I, I understand that. I kind of. And I and I yeah. don't and I don't blame them for having to raise ticket prices as long as the money's going to them and not ticket oh. bastard. Um, because the, the a lot of money does go to them. Yeah. Um, they're pretty much a monopoly. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. I saw Janet Jackson back in 2009. <gasps> oh, wow, that probably would have been yeah, really see, good. Yeah, I would totally see Janet She's got Jackson. so many <gasps> hits. Like, oh, so many songs. So good, yeah. yeah. What's the last concert we saw? Um, we, we do like to see lots of concerts tons. if we can. We saw. But we like to see a lot of Vancouver. smaller bands, like not huge, huge. Yeah, because I don't like the stadium <gasps> ones because you're so far away from them. You might as well yeah. watch them on video. We and saw. See, see the screen in your living room. And it's we saw two bands in one weekend, didn't we? One yes. was what was the band that's a retro wave band, um, or sort of? Yeah, I gotta have to look it up. Yeah, can't remember who that was. They were amazing. Yes. And then we Midnight. saw Midnight, the Midnight, the Midnight. Yeah. And then we saw a punk band, which was the the. Oh. Look it up. I'm not like their biggest fan, but they are they are very good. The punk um, band? That's why I can't remember their name ever. Um, concert. Uh, Lagwagon. Lagwagon. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. But uh, The Midnight, excellent. And then before that, uh, did you... You saw The Strokes? 
That was a while ago. Did yeah. I see them? Or I did I block them out? I <laughs> think so. I think we saw them. We were wearing masks. It was like... Oh. It was like... We? It was right before... It was March we? 5th. We wouldn't... We might have been wearing masks I, at that time, but I don't think I, so. No, maybe not. It was like right before the pandemic. No Effects is so good live. McMuse. They are one of the best live bands. No effects? Yeah. They're just so funny. Yeah. And crazy. And, and Fat Mike is just so entertaining. James is a punk fan, unless you... <laughs> <laughs> we saw them at a um, oh, outdoor concert with a bunch of other punk bands. That was, that was a oh, lot of good Oh, there was like a there. punk festival. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Bad Religion is so good, too. McMuse. Their their songs, most of them sound the same, but they're they're so precise with their with, with the musicality. Love it. Uh, yeah, Punk and Drublick. Punk and Drublick. That yeah. was the this. It was like a series. touring festival. It was very good. It was yeah. it was a lot. I of think fun. it was put together by Fat Records, which is No Effects uh, label. Gotcha. Oh, here we go. Nostalgic saw Duran Duran. Ah, I've seen Duran Duran. And now that I've been kind of re-listening to them because you put them on once in a while, they're such good musicians. Oh, hell yeah. Their concerts are great. And I think great. I appreciate their music more now than in the 80s. Yeah, because <laughs> they were very popular in the 80s, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I'd probably go great. and see Duran Duran next time. Oh, you well, I would. Uh, you should come the next time because I have a couple of girlfriends and we love to go see Duran Duran. We've seen them in Vancouver and we've gone to um, Las Vegas to see them too right. when they've been touring. Yeah. So, um, oh, they're great. And you know all their songs too. Like they, <laughs> yes. they start. You're like, oh yeah, this song. It's like they they play music and you're like, I remember this song. Yeah. So many good songs. I think our next one is Front 242. Front 242? That is not for a month, but you yeah. Because um, the last time I saw Front 242, I had two concerts the same night, and I bought tickets for both concerts. Because I wanted to see both concerts, and I was like, okay, well, I'll go see one, and one is a little bit later than the other, and I don't care about the opener for Front 242, so I'll go see um, Jello Biafra and the Melvins together. Okay. Which was... So unbelievable, I could not leave the concert. I had to stay right to the end because they did a whole bunch of Dead Kennedy songs, and it was perfect. Like, you couldn't tell that they weren't playing them 30 years ago. Um, and then I arrived at the Front 242 concert, like, for the last two songs. I drove as quick as I could. Oh, wow. Both to downtown Vancouver. And uh, they sounded terrible. Oh, so, no. <laughs> or at least terrible... To there's my nothing, ears. There's nothing more disappointing than like being really excited about a band and they just don't play well. But it like, could be, you can't blame the band all the time because it could be the person on the mixing board. Like, true. Totally true. messing it up for them. They can't hear themselves. The monitors aren't working correctly. Um, so I'm giving them another chance. Um, the band I've given the most chances to that disappointed me every single time. Mm -hmm. And I think I've seen them like five times. Um, what is that band? It's not the, another industrial band. Like super well-known industrial band. Oh no, I can't remember who they are. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. And just terrible Finally. every time. Finally. Uh, I don't even know crash. how. You're just sure. wandering. <laughs> I don't know how to get back to where I need to get back oh, to. No, nope. looks like maybe nearby. No, I hope so. Ivory Tower Collection says Front Two Four Two is great. Oh, so good. The guy's voice is so good, and he's so distinct because he's French. And there's like almost no French industrial singers. singers yeah. So it's, he's got this very strange accent mm -hmm. that you just don't hear. You usually hear German or English mm -hmm. or. You know, Northern European accents, but French almost never. That's so Jean unusual. Jean Luc Demeyer's voice is so good, and he had a bunch of side bands too, not just Front Two Four Two, and they're all amazing because mm -hmm. it's him, it's his voice. So, can you think of any other songs? Uh, of who? Of, of what? the person that I had disappointed with their industrial concerts. industrial yeah I'm gonna famous look. oh very well Not like ramstein or something like that i've never seen ramstein uh, i Ramstein, would. yeah i would 
definitely go see a Ramstein oh. concert. Oh, ha ha! Completed. But it's not them. Oh, I'd KMFDM. Listen. That's KMFDM. Uh, that's who it is. Mm. I've seen them like five or six times. Utterly disappointed every single time. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, it's not their mixing board. They're just not great live. Yeah. And I love Cam FTM. Um, They're so good. Who do we see? Who's the very, oh God, famous industrial band that's based out of Vancouver that have a bunch of... Oh, Skinny Puppy. Skinny Puppy. They play. Unbelievable live. Unbelievable live, yeah. So, so And they occasionally will play a set in Vancouver, which is amazing. Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. And Combi Christ, too. They're not from here. No, no, but they're they're really good. I really like them. They are. They're very entertaining. Okay, I think we are done this game. (laughs) Uh, It's cool. It's a a fun fun maze game. Yeah. Uh, The boards aren't too big and and keeps you on your toes moving around. Mm. Uh, I think a danger in here would be good, like Something, something you need to avoid. Maybe even, yeah. yeah. Something that you need to go around. Mm. Sometimes, like it slowly chases you or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screen yeah. by screen. Mm. So that's like, oh, I'm, that way's blocked sometimes. Mm. But you get used to the momentum. Uh, some of the peop- some people in the uh, forums were like, oh, the momentum. But you get used to it. You just kind of slow down just before the screen changes, mm. and you're you're mostly fine. There's another one. Number two. And I'll do one more level. (laughs) (laughs) Every Tower Collection says, Juke Joint Jezebel was by far the most played song when I would crank up my stereo system in the barracks with my tower speakers. Ah, barracks. Uh, KMF, uh, Light is probably my favorite song by KMFDM. Nostalgic says, gotta go not so fast. Yeah. Not so fast. He's like, gotta get it, gotta get it. Keep running, 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 running. Yeah, it's the opposite of uh, Sonic. Gotta go not so fast. Yeah. You've gone five times and don't remember their name. They must really suck. <laughs> <laughs> Live. KMFDM. That's, yeah. yeah. Uh, recorded? Perfect. Yeah. Unbelievable. There was one time in Seattle where they were okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Just okay. Just okay. Like barely. What? This is dead end everywhere. Okay. I'm following the walls. Yeah. Dead you've been end. there. Down. That is a That's where I came from. Yeah. Oh, maybe this this is a path out that I didn't find. But I'm following the wall still. Because I think this this game you can follow the walls. Yeah, probably. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Follow the wall back. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh. Ah! Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Co-workers don't like it much. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we're good. That's uh, it's a good game. I like the the character mm-hmm. and uh, the mazes are cool. Um, so that's it for tonight. Actually, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just some uh, some simple games. Yeah, not too complex. Yeah, not too crazy, not too complex. I wonder if anyone wants to let Tari get some uh... one last treat. Is, is there enough time for treats? Oh, I, I bet hope so. there is. We'll give them some, um, there is. some catnip. Can roll around. Do you want to get a bowl or something? I, I don't can want put to in put the it lid, the maybe. Oh, in the it's lid. It's tree yeah. time. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, RC70. Oh, he's so happy. Is that too much? Uh, a friend of mine much. recently got a cameo from one of the guys in NoFX, and he sung him happy birthday while literally on the toilet. That's that is very funny. NoFX. That is very NoFX. Their Paradise album in 2019 is the newest one. I know. I need to check if there's any new releases. Nip time! It's nip time! Um, so, coming up... Oh, I have to go to cat cam. There you go. I'm rolling around on yeah. the floor. Uh, let's see what's coming up on the show. I'm actually going to change what's happening on Friday. Yeah. Um, because... All the 10 liners from the 10 line contest Ooh, yes. have been compiled by Vitoko oh, into nice. a nice simple program. Yeah. So we're probably going to be doing that and postponing the other thing because that's, I can play that anytime. Okay. But the 10 liners are now done. Nice. So we're going to play all of those, mostly Vitoko's because he's. He does a lot of 10 liners. does a lot of 10 liners. And they, they work very well. He's really very good cool at them. games, yeah. Yep. Maybe I'll have a new video done. Nice. By that. Yep, nice very nice. cool. 
Uh, so let's take a look. You can see Tari rolling around in the corner if he's going to do that. Uh, so, oh, we have to do an after dark at some point. Oh, yeah. I don't know For when. Tober's Nightmare? Tober's Nightmare and Turbo Arcade before mm. the 4th. Okay, 4th. So we have a couple, when is the 4th? Uh, that's Monday, so it's pretty much this week or weekend. Mm. Um, and then that, on the Friday with Darcy, we're going to be changing that to the 10 line day. We'll be playing a bunch of 10 line games. Okay. I think there's nine of them, so that'll be gotcha. enough. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, might postpone that to the Tuesday. Maybe something else will come up. Uh, then on the next Friday with you, we're going to be playing Razor's Edge. Mm -hmm. It's exclusive another exclusive world premiere. World premiere. Nice. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. And something I've added recently, uh, we're going to have be have an interview coming up oh. with Old Style, who oh. is in the chat a bunch of times. Okay. I don't know about today. I didn't yeah, see I his didn't name. Yeah, I didn't see his name up. today, but yeah. Um, we're going to be doing the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers. Let's go to Rolly Cat. Yeah. Uh, exclusive final version of Mario Brothers. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's added a lot. He's, well, yeah. he's almost done, right? Yeah. So he's got all the cool levels with the icicles falling and the freezing of the levels. Oh, it's so awesome. And we're going to be revealing his new game, too. Ooh. And you'll like it. Oh. It's, it's good. Both on the 7800. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh. Happy yeah. cat. Oh, look how happy that cat is. <laughs> he just doesn't know what he's like licking randomly yeah. and rolling. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's so high. Thank you, RC70. <laughs> <laughs> he says, thank you. I'm a happy cat. Are you happy? Are you happy, cat? You're so happy. So happy. <laughs> 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 is your Uno in a 3D printed shell? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty well printed. Mm. But you can see it. It's... It is, it, is, it is 3D printed. No, it's not wrong to be jealous of Atari's happiness. Everybody How to, wishes they could be as happy as Atari. Don't you wish as a, a cat on catnip, you know? Like, <laughs> and look at this. Look at that beige belly. Oh, Aww. what a great beige belly. Yeah. Um, so I don't know when that's going to be. It's pretty much when his new game is ready and Mario Brothers is ready. Mm. So they're coming along very well. Uh, then we're going to have a Champ Game Secret Homebrew. Usually it's going to be in May. -ish. Ooh, yeah, always, always exciting. Um, we have Atari Age Day coming up. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll have my Jaguar to play the new Jaguar games from Atari Age. Yeah. Yep. We still need to do a zero page. That, um... Yes. Zero page Homebrew the Game. Yes, day. Uh, and Tanya's making some goodies that'll be included in the five games that will be given away, Woo! five copies of yep. the game. So I should get that done before Al ships me the new games for Atari Age Day so he can include those five oh. ZPH games. Oh, okay. Because so, he needs to... He's going to he's gonna assemble them for you? Yeah, because he has, cool. there's a service that you can do through Atari Age Great. that you yeah. can put any game on a cartridge yeah. as long as the author says it's good to go. Oh, nice. And I'll just make some, some labels up and he prints the labels mm -hmm. too, so... That'll be good. Um, uh, what else? Oh, developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky, uh, who's Revan Tooley. We're going to go through all of his games, all the dra dragon games. They're all dragon Ooh, games. Excellent. Yeah. And then Who's we're going to be revealing Harpy's Curse, which is a, an exclusive world premiere of his new game. Um, he's posted some screenshots and a little bit of gameplay on that. But uh, it won't be released until then. Yes, mm -hmm. goodies. Uh, planning on, you want to get yeah. that out from making, the bottom? Making more zero page coasters. So we'll, in each mm -hmm. one, yes. the five, there's going to be a coaster, a zero page homebrew coaster, and a zero page homebrew keychain. Yeah. And you'll have to answer and skill testing questions. That's right. <laughs> because that's what you have to do in Canada to that's win right. prizes. <laughs> Um, it's not that we are following Canadian law for that. We just, you know, we just like to. We do just that. like to do that. Yeah. It'll be probably maybe homebrew questions. Hey, eh? that, that'd be. Good. I think that would be good. Yeah, appropriate. Yeah. Test people's homebrew knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else is coming up? Oh yes, the twenty six hundred forty fifth birthday marathon. Ooh. I forgot to talk about that. Um, He's gone. Oh. <laughs> it's just a shot of your your it's socks my, right it's now. It's my feet. Yeah. yeah, we don't need that. Yeah. Um, 
So I reached out to uh, Atari, the, the person who does Atari Archive. Okay. If, if you don't watch that YouTube channel, you definitely should. Because he goes through Atari 2600 games, game by game, mm. and I believe in order too, of release date. Um, so I reached out to him because I needed the release dates of all the Atari games because I want to play them. We want to play them in order on that stretch of days. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, who better to reach out to, uh, other than the guy who has researched all this to the nth degree? And he, uh, he on his web page, he has a very detailed. Um, information about release dates of the games. So I'll be using that as a cross-reference. Um, so now I just need to make a list of all the games and then put in the dates. Um, so I have a bunch of lists. So it'll take a little bit, but I have lots of time. Mm. Do you need to answer in the form of a question? Uh, maybe. What is yes? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh... But also, there's a Vectrex day and a whole bunch of stuff that yeah, I've Vectrex. planned yeah, sometime in the in future. future. Yep. Yeah, that'd be and, fun. Uh, and then we can do uh, Jaguar day as well. Yeah, yeah. Got to add that to your hidden contents list there. Yeah. Yep. Hide those contents. Hide, hide them. Hide them good. <laughs> yeah. And I think I need to add some more days here mm -hmm. and fill in some more plans for upcoming episodes oh he's still loving it he, he well guy. yeah there back. was a little left in the lid now he's rubbing his face uh, up against the lid oh uh, more please yeah oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so happy oh what a cute kitty yeah he's a sweetheart um so thanks for hanging out with us everyone mm -hmm. uh and especially the people who chatted dan avc mcmuse mad mike 25 vitoko rod castler uh, or Rod Castler, yep. <laughs> Ivory Tower Collections, Nostalgic. Uh, McMuse, Carl LG. G. Uh, Danny VC, RC70. Phaser Cat Games. Um, Vitoko, Bum Fuzzled Games, mm -hmm. who's still hanging around. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, thousandth follower, right? Thousand. He was the thousandth follower. Thousand, thousand, you'll, you'll all forever be the thousandth. <laughs> Thou thousand follower. That is yep. very hard to say. Hard to say that. Thousand follower. Thousand yes. follower. <laughs> Those two words don't go together well in English. Uh, uh, let's see. Charles Whelan. Yep. Uh, Rodcast. Metal Lunar 7. <laughs> oh, the lid. Oh, baby, the lid. Oh, I love that lid. <laughs> lid is good. And now he's passed out. <laughs> he's like, he's oh. totally passed out. <laughs> Oh, oh he's kitty. so sweet. Look at that chunky body. Yeah. <laughs> you chunky cat. He's a little chunky. He's very, very sweet. Oh. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Uh, we'll be back on Friday uh, with some more games with Darcy. It's an early show. It's mm. a noon show. Mm -hmm. So make sure you uh, come back for that. We didn't talk about our uh, movie marathon, but that's okay. We'll talk about oh, that next time. We can do that with Darcy when, yeah. when Darcy's around too. Yeah. Um, so thanks everybody and uh, have a great week and see you mm -hmm. on Friday. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.